Hey, this is Jason Morris with Real Estate Agents That Really Work, and I'm I'm here on the phone today with um, with an agent named uh, Frank. And uh, Frank, Frank, you want to tell them a little bit about yourself? Hey, Jason. Yeah. Um, well, I've been a real estate agent going on ten years now, and I just relocated to a different market. And everybody in the audience can probably tell that I have a southern accent, and I actually relocated to um, the Northeast. Um, so, you know, I'm kind of working up against that. But uh, I just uh, started in a new market in about, a, about a month or so ago. And in the past experience, I was working as a buyer's agent mostly. I mean, 90, 95% of my business was with buyers. Uh, however, you know, being, a, being uh, new to the area where I'm at now and everything, you know, um, I've kind of figured that I would probably be better off working with sellers yeah. um, because I don't know the area new, as well. Go ahead. I'm sorry. You this new market. You, you basically you're you're in the process of reinventing your business. You're going from working Correct. with having a really really heavy buyer business, and if you guys don't know, I've known Frank for a long time, and and uh, I've seen Frank run around seven days a week, working like twelve and fifteen hours a day, dragging buyers around in his car. So moving to this new market, you, you kind of reinvented your business, right? Well, I had to because, I mean, I'm handicapped because I don't know the geographical area as well as I do in the previous market. And, you know, I just honestly don't feel comfortable uh, with buyers at, that, at this point in time, you know. And, and plus, I just got remarried, and, you know, so I got a new relationship going on and, you know, family life. And honestly, I want to have a life outside of real estate. <laughs> yeah, you want to control your time. I, that's what I keep telling people. Right. You know, with listings, man, I can work Monday through Friday. On the weekends, my listings get shown like crazy by everybody else, and I don't have to drag buyers around in my car. I control my time and my life and go on vacations and stuff, and I don't really have exactly. to exactly. go out and personally show every client property. I only got to worry about one house versus worrying about 50 houses. <laughs> you know? Exactly, you know? exactly. Exactly. So, um, and with everything you got today, is showing time and you know on those resources. I mean, it makes you know it makes your life so much easier. That's right. So, so Frank, one of the things that that um, that you were telling me that you were doing that's a little bit different is um, is you started using uh, you started using Z Buyer. I'm a big fan of Z Buyer here in Myrtle Beach. Um, I, I, I'll get one or two listings a week, but you just started using it like two or three weeks ago, didn't you? Yes, I started using Z Buyer in the market I'm in now, and you know, not only is it a lot cheaper than buying Zillow leads and zip codes, um, you know, in the previous market where I was at, I was spending close to two thousand dollars a month on buyer leads. Now I did have great results, but you know, that's awfully expensive. But you know, with Z Buyer, you know, I'm getting a ton of leads, and you know, I can I can make the same amount of money. With a greater return on my money. So on Zillow for two grand a month, how many leads would you get, like say a day or a week? Well, fairly. I mean, I, I mean, just how about uh, you know? I, I don't. I can't remember exactly how many leads per week I was getting, but on average, you know, I was closing, you know, at least five deals a month. You know, so off of that. So I was getting, you know, at least through, you know, I would say probably close to 10 leads, uh, 10 okay oh, leads per week. Cool. What are you getting with, uh, what are you getting with Z-Buyer? Like how many leads a week? Oh gosh. I'm getting, um, uh, well the market I'm in is actually, you know, is in Northeast, so it is a bigger market. You're um, an enormous market up there. Exactly. And I'm getting probably, Oh gosh, some weeks it varies, but on average, probably you know anywhere up from twenty to thirty leads a week. Oh my God, dude, I'm getting like twenty, twenty-five a month. You know, from Z-Buyer. well, I, I have three, I have three uh, counties that I cover too. Oh, so you got three. So roughly, how much is three counties? Like, how much are you paying a month for the for uh, three counties? Well, I think they the, the Z buyer gods have smiled upon me and give me a discount because. <laughs> I bundled it, you know, and so I get a discount. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm spending, I think I'm spending like $400 a month. That's not bad. Well, my group, my group real estate agents that really work, if you talk to Eva Z Buyer, she's in the group, she can, um, they give you a 20% discount and they get them talk to her, you know, people listening, talk to her about getting multiple counties. And I, 
mm-hmm. and they uh, may have some other discounts I'm not aware of. But um, mm-hmm. so dude, you went from well, spending- one of the counties I'm in is a very metropolitan area, and you know, so obviously it's going to have a lot of people wanting to sell their houses. And for you guys wondering, um, Frank Frank told me before he agreed to do this interview, he said he wasn't gonna he didn't want to tell people what place he was in because he didn't want them to go subscribe to Z Buyer and compete against Exactly. Him. Exactly. Because, so, and, and the funny thing is there in the market as big as we are, I don't think there's many people that know about Z Buyer. Uh, it's just talking to the, the sales reps of Z Buyer, um, you know, I think there's only like three or four other agents in this whole area that, that does it. Um and also, you know, I don't have much competition when I call them. I mean, they haven't been called or contacted by anybody else. So. Yeah, you know, I've noticed that, too, even in my market. Like, I'll make calls to them, and it doesn't appear that they've been contacted by anybody else. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of odd. Like, I know agents have it here. Me and you have talked about the agents that have it in our market. Mm-hmm. But I rarely run into another agent or have somebody say, oh, yeah, I'm meeting – um I'm meeting another agent, or I'm meeting an agent from you know this office or that office. So, so, how many appointments would you say you've set like in two or three weeks? Uh, I usually set uh, on average uh, about three or four appointments a week. So, yeah. I mean, I think that's really good. And like this week, like tomorrow and Saturday, I mean, I've got I've got three appointments in just those two days. So, you know, wow. I'm kind of like scrambling around, you know. You know, these people are very committed, and I pretty much set the hook and everything before I'm even going out to the appointment. I mean, I'm literally just taking the listing contract with me to get them to sign it and put the sign in the yard. Cool. So to put this in perspective for people, because you're in a brand-new market. You've been in this new market. I mean, I know this, but you've only been licensed – well, actually active in this brand-new market for, what, 30, 45 days maybe? Something like – yeah, something like that. Something like that, and you've been using Z Buyer for like three weeks, and you are literally going on three to four appointments a week. Yes, I mean I would strongly recommend Z Buyer. I mean, yeah, Zillow is great if you're well established. I mean, if you can afford that, I mean, obviously you're going to make money off of Zillow, but you know it gets expensive, and you know, and honestly, you know, I think Z Buyer, if you have, and, and just you can sell or leads. I mean. If you really want to control your schedule and control your life, uh, you really need to work with sellers, not buyers. Yeah, yeah, you're completely right. So, so what other moving this branding market? What other lead sources are you using right now to find uh, find people? Are you using Red X or anything like that? Um, the, uh, I'm using uh, Arc Agent, uh, just doing you know expired listings and those and. You know, people who put their stuff on Zillow and stuff like that, I'm contacting those people yeah. as well. You're going to have to do some for sale by owners and expireds and stuff too, but Z Buyer, I know you were telling me Z Buyer is like your number one source of business right now. It is. That's what I'm leaning heavily on because I just have so many numbers and whatnot. You know, even, I've even found that going back, you know, two months, three months, you know, even going back that far, I mean, you've got so many numbers that you can contact and so many contacts. I mean, you could literally spend a month contacting people just off of, you know, what you have from Z Buyer and what, you know, going back three months or at least in the market I'm in, they've got so many. I can go back three months and, you know, I've got tons of names, hundreds of names and telephone numbers. You know, that's what I've seen too. I mean, my market, I had like 700 old leads and I still haven't went through them, man. I, I, I plan it. I talk about doing it, mm-hmm. and I just I can't get to them. I can't figure out when to put it in my schedule. Um, mm-hmm. I always tell agents like I don't understand agents cold calling. I guess mm-hmm. we're we're not in those markets because man, I don't have time to call all the the warm people that I know are looking at selling. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't have time. And, to and, and Z buyer, you know, and Z buyer, these people are, are, and as you know, Jason, I mean, these people are they're. They're wanting to sell their house. I mean, you know, of course you'll get some uh, Joe Smo that just wants to get kind of an idea of what his house is worth. But the majority of the people that are entering their information really want to sell their house. So it's not like you're really cold calling with with Z buyer. Yeah. Now what kind of? Now we've talked about this for the people that don't know. Typically, the person coming through Z buyer is somebody that's. They're going to a website online. I don't know what website, or they're going to some kind of marketing that Z Buyer is doing, and they're entering their information, 
and they're expecting some sort of cash offer or investor type offer or something right. on their house. Yeah. Um, so how does the call go? How does the initial call go with people? Usually I start an appointment. Off, yeah, usually what I do is I start off by, hi, my name is Frank. Uh, I'm with, you know, XYZ Realty. And I partner, I, I think this is very important, I always say I partner with a company called Z Buyer. And I see that you're interested in, and I, and then I'll, I'm always, I, you know, they put on there like they're relocating or they inherited the property or, or they're, uh, you know, need cash or financial issues. I say, oh, I see that you're relocating. Um, you know, I would like to help you, and then I kind of go into the conversation. That's awesome, man. And so basically, you just go into the conversation, and then you just set up the appointment with them. Yes. And they're and, uh, what I find is they're easy they're easy people to set an appointment with. Have you found that same thing? Yes, they usually are. But the most important thing is, I mean, and I can't stress this enough because I mean I fumbled with it in the very beginning. But the most important thing is, I feel like you have to say, you know, I because they're they're wondering how in the heck did this person get my telephone number, you know? Um, <laughs> and you need to say I partner with a company called Zfire, and then they'll tell you, oh well, I was expecting an investor to call me. Well. You know, the easiest way to overcome that objection is to say, yeah, I mean, I'm sure an investor may be contacting you, but, the real, I mean, they're investors, and they're going to be paying you, you know, they're not going to pay you nothing of what you expect the property's worth. You know, I always go a different route with it. I always tell them, hey, you came through one of our websites looking for a cash offer on your home. How much are you asking for it? And then I let them tell me how much they're asking for it, and I tell them, mm -hmm. which, you know, like, I have a group of investors that will buy their house, but and I'm up, but I'm up front with them on the initial call. Look, you know, you're looking for a hundred thousand dollars for your house. That's pretty much uh, that's a fair market price. You know, the guys that I work with that are investors, they they're willing to make you an offer on it. But I'm going to be up front with you. What they're going to do is they're going to come in and do some paint, carpet, and they're going to put it back on the market to sell it. Mm -hmm. and, and they're not going to give you a hundred thousand dollars for it. Um, they're going to give you a price that they can actually make a profit spread. But for $100,000, if we can get you $100,000 in a time frame of, say, 30 to 60 days, would that work for you? And mm -hmm. 9 out of 10 of them, when you get to that point of the conversation, 9 out of 10 say, yes, it would. And you say, well, that's great. Well, I tell you what, how about we come out Thursday at 4? And I always tell them the time I'm going to. But I like your idea about we partnered with this company, and this is where we're going. Um, I talked to one agent who was, who was telling people, hey, I'm a, I'm a representative from this company. You may have other people contact you, but you go ahead and tell them that you've already talked to me. And I thought that was actually like hilarious, but really yeah. good. You, are, you go ahead and tell them. If another agent or investor calls you, you go ahead and let them know that you've already talked to me and that you're working with me oh hey, because I wanted, to, I wanted to take care of you personally. And I'm going, wow, that's, that's an amazing uh, script you have, but it's yeah. kind of funny. Yeah. Well, man, I, I tell you, I know I promised you I'd keep it to 15 minutes, but I've got like right, one other question okay. I get asked, asked a lot. So a lot of agents in my group are in the situation that you're in, and a lot of agents that are listening to this, that they're, they're looking at moving to a new market, either a, mar a market that's brand new or just a new market in general. What kind of advice would you give them? At, being 30 days in a – 30, 45 days in a new market and be an experienced agent, what would you tell an agent to do or what advice would you give them if they're looking at moving to a new market also? Well, I would tell them, first off, you've got to find some kind of lead source. I, I mean, I know it can get expensive, but, you know, even even Z buyer, I mean, it's, I mean, I think you can pick it up. You can pick one county up for – most counties, I think, you can pick up for you know, less than $150 a month. I mean, that is really important. I think you have to have some form of lead source. Um, you know, also, just sticking with it, I mean, so many agents, you know, my routine is I'm in the office no matter what by 9 o'clock every morning. Yeah. Uh, you know, I get up, get myself dressed, you know, and get there. And I'm there working, making telephone calls, sending out emails. You got to stick with it, no matter what. I mean, even if you don't see the instant results, because everybody thinks that you know, oh, I'm going to get in real estate. I'm going to be a millionaire by next year. That's not the case. <laughs> yeah, that's um, not the case. <laughs> yeah. So 
So, you know, you can make a very good living doing this, but, you know, the people who are making the living are the people that stick through it, you know, persevere and actually, you know, get up in the morning and go into the office, make the telephone calls or send out the emails and set appointments and go to appointments. Those are the people making the money. Yeah. Yeah, I see a lot of agents, man. They just quit just a little bit too soon. Like they're right on the edge. You yeah. know, and they're so close to like breaking through and being able to set regular appointments. Once you start getting one a week, it's easy to start getting two a week, you know? Or three yeah, a week. You gotta it's have a the mindset skin. challenge. Yeah, you yeah. gotta have a good skin. I mean some people you get on the telephone, they're gonna crush you out. I mean, you just gotta roll with the punches and, and deal with it. I mean, if someone hangs up on me, I mean you know, unless they're cussing me out, they hang up on me. But if they just hang up on me, I call them right back, you know. I mean, you know, you got to have that mentality. <laughs> I do that, um, too. I'm like, hey, I'm sorry. I think we got cut off. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I tell them. I, say, I think it was – I think uh, – I don't know if it was my phone or your phone, <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> so, what what and, would you say is, like, y- your worst call ever, like, worst thing somebody's told you on the phone? Uh, just cuss me out and tell me don't call them back. <laughs> but, but they hung up and you lived through it and everything was fine and you kept making calls, right? <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, I, did, I didn't call them back, but I, you know, I, I just I sucked it up and just picked up the phone and called, called another uh, lead. Cool, man. Hey, well, I really appreciate you um, doing this for me. I get a lot of I got a lot of questions about Z buyer and we were talking mm-hmm. about it. And you're telling me your story, and I said, man, I think you have a a great story with that, especially moving to a new market, finding your lead sources. I usually recommend Red X, but, and I use Red X myself, and they give my group, um, they waive setup fees and stuff if you, uh, mm-hmm. you know, if anybody wants to sign up for Red X. But, um, mm-hmm. but yeah, you gotta have, you gotta have lead sources, you gotta have a schedule, you gotta stick through it, even though some days suck. And, um, mm-hmm. cool, man. Well, is there anything else you wanna, you know, tell people or say before we, um, before I let you go back to work, man? No, I just I, other than you know, if you if you want to make a living doing real estate, you need to like we talked about. You need to get up in the morning, go to the office, and you know, and make telephone calls and send out emails and do everything you're supposed to do. Otherwise, you're not going to make a living. And you got to treat it like a job. Um, exactly, that's you know? the biggest at, pitfall I see. At any other place, if we work any other place and we didn't show up three days in a row without a good excuse, we would get fired. But exactly. for some reason, agents think that's acceptable. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's so. raining here today. I mean, and the office is actually, I mean, yesterday was actually a decent day, and it was sun shining. And we had a lot of agents in the office. Well, today it's kind of, it's kind of, it's 61 degrees here, and it's, it's uh, pouring down rain outside, and there's like maybe three people in the office. I mean, I don't, I don't oh, yeah. get that mentality, you know. <laughs> I got up and it was raining. I got up at 6 o'clock this morning. I looked outside. It was dark. It was raining, man. I mm-hmm. I really wanted to go back to bed. But you know what? I got up. I got myself together, you know, went through my routine. And, man, I was on the phone about – I was on the phone at 8 o'clock. So, um, mm-hmm. but I, I really appreciate it, Frank. Thank you for doing this no call with me. Right. And, um, and, and I'll talk to you later, man. Thank you. All right. Thank you.